This is a hardware overview of our 24 channel UXP Pro XR relay controller. Uh, this particular relay controller has got a USB interface module installed. We have many other interface options available, including Bluetooth, Ethernet, uh, Wi Fi, RS232, and many more. So if you ever need to change your interface module, we have a solution for just about anything you could need. This controller has a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. This is a center positive 12 volt. Allows you to power this controller from this barrel connector. Here we have a program run jumper. The program run jumper is used to, uh, is normally in the run mode, but you can set it over to the program mode if you ever need to re recover settings out of this controller. Um, here we've got 24 relays. There, the relays are organized in three banks. This is a bank one bank 2 and bank 3 is here on the end. Uh, banks are always a groups of 8 relays and that becomes really important whenever you start working with our ProXR software you'll see that we make a lot of references to different relay banks. Um, each relay bank uh, has uh, again it's got 8 relays and every relay has got three connections a normally open, a common, and normally closed. That allows you to wire uh, things such as a light bulb so that the light is always on or always off de depending on how you have it wired to these three connections and the light bulb will change state whenever the relay is activated. Here we have a 12 volt input. This is an auxiliary input. You can use this to power the board if you prefer to wire your own power supply to the controller instead of using our barrel connector. Um, here we've got an XR expansion port. The XR expansion port allows you to add more relays to the controller. So if you uh, need larger or smaller uh, relays, you can you can connect solid state, uh, mechanical, SPDT, DPDT, about any kind of relay board we offer can be plugged into this expansion port. The LED status lights indicate the on-off status of each of the relays. Um, there's a busy ready LED. This, these LEDs will flash whenever a command is received. Uh, here, all of the, the chips in this in ProXR series controllers are socketed, so if the uh, chips are ever damaged in service, uh, we have a very low cost kit that can be used to replace this chipset, so it makes it very easy to maintain this controller in the field. Um, last but not least, we have a UXP expansion port. Uh, we're going to show you here a video clip of some of the options that can be plugged into this controller. ProXR controllers equipped with a UXB expansion port can uh, have three different expansions plugged in. Uh, you can only have one of each kind plugged in, but you can chain a few of them together. This is a 12-bit A to D converter. This allows uh, 16 channels of 12-bit 0 to 5 volt um, voltage inputs on this controller. You can have up to three of these shared on a single UXP port. Uh, this is a great way to add uh, sensor monitoring, a, a high resolution sensor monitoring uh, to your UXP series relay controller. Um, here we have a contact closure input. Um, you can have up to 256 banks of inputs can be connected in a series um, off of one UXP port. Uh, each one of these chips represents one bank, so this particular controller has got two banks on it. <clears throat> Contact closure inputs can be used to detect switches, uh, just wire switches to each of these uh, bank inputs. This is bank one, uh, you would wire up eight switches to bank one, this is bank two, and you've got eight switches you can wire up to this bank. As you press the switches, uh, you can you can see in the ProXR software, the base station software, you can see uh, a graphical representation of what's happening um, with each of these inputs. Now, keep in mind this is a pulled based system. Your any of these these controllers are going to require you to ask the input status. You're never going to get it automatically. You're going to have to always ask what is the input status. This is a potentiometer output. Uh, this is kind of a fun. Uh, expansion for our, our uh, UXP series controller. It allows you to set in 8-bit resolution you can set poten potentiometer outputs. Now these potenti potentiometers are uh, a very low power potentiometer. They're 8 
8-bit resolution. We have them available in 10K, 50K, and 100K values. There are three connections per potentiometer, and uh, there are four potentiometers uh, per group here. And then so we have uh, four, eight, 12, and 16 total potentiometers on this expansion. Um, this is, you can also chain more potentiometers. Again, you can have up to 256 of these chips total can be communicated uh, through one UXP port. Uh, now, uh, keep in mind, once again, it's not possible to mix these on a single UXP port. You have to choose which UXP expansion you want to use, and then that's pretty much all you can have on the expansion port from there on out. Okay, if you have any questions, please let us know. We would be glad to help you out. Thank you very much.